join me on my metal detecting adventures. I'm on top field and I'm going to see if we can find Roman. Hi, Steve, Suffolk Sifter. First, I've got to apologise for the wind noise you might be experiencing. It is blowing a hoolie, absolute hoolie. I've come back to those two fields, the bottom field where I found the two halves of that silver Lizzie the first hammered and the Edward the Seventh jersey coin, the twelfth, one twelfth of a shilling. I'm going to go on the top field now and I've got to get a shift on really because the farmer has <laughs> got the jump on me. He's uh, done loads of fields and drilled them with uh, uh, linseed and sprayed them and I'm not allowed on them. And this field, I'll show you around in a bit, but it's just started to be cultivated and I've got to get on here ASAP. So this field is in theory adjacent next door near Roman activity. It's where I have found Roman coins and I'm, I'm hopeful we can find it. So it's going to be me, my XP Deus and Gary's Ultimate and we're going to get out there. I've only got a couple of hours and I'm going to see if we can find Roman. I'd like to express my extreme thanks to you. Yes, you, my new subscribers to Suffolk Sifter. Much appreciated and your names will scroll from bottom to top at the end of the video. So stay tuned. I'm going to get kitted up, I'm going to take you and we're going to go out on that field and see what we can find. Right, here we go. That's the field down there where I found the two halves of that uh, Liddy First hammered. This is what I call top field and as I said in the intro I'm a little bit up against it because the farmer's really got his things into gear and he started to cultivate things rather sharply. Uh, the two fields I was going to go on has been already been uh, direct drilled and sprayed and I can't go on them. This is going to be done in the next week or two I've heard so I've got to really hit this and the other field as hard as I'm a, I can humanly do and see what we can find. This is known Roman area just over there so I'm hoping fingers crossed that you and me can find some Roman. Join me now and if I find anything, you'll be the first to know. Roll on top field, and I'm going to use Gary's ultimate, and I've knocked the frequency down to 11.6, because obviously, as you can see, the ground does not get ploughed, it's just uh, sort of scratched over and direct drilled. So we're going to crack on and see what we can find. Okay, I'm just sort of about 10 paces from the truck, really. I don't know what it is, I'm going to do a live dig, because people say they like seeing whatever it is come out. A little bit scratchy and it's a 48 so it's more than likely going to be rubbish with my track record but yeah you never know so let's break it open and see if we can find well getting very very small folks very small, not going to be a full group in there, is it? Hey! <laughs> well, it's a buckle, but so it's a modern buckle. No, yeah. The little pinner just fell out, so it's just a little modern buckle, nothing fantastic. Okay, it's 58, folks. And just because people want to see their rubbish coming out. <laughs> Did have it out. All right, let's just flick that out. It's here somewhere. So, oh, I can see just a lot of ash, or in fact, could be a bit of a buckle. Oops, he says flicking it away. There you go, it's a little fragment of a bit of a decorated buckle. I'm assuming, unless you can tell me otherwise. Oh, it's right hooly. It's very, very windy. And 
got my jumper on so uh, we can safely assume that summer is over. All the leaves are turning nicely brown. Well, I've got a first coin. I've just been just come down from a tractor here. Uh, it's been that buckle, uh, a couple of three buttons, and there's this. It's a a nice loud 89. And I'll give it a bit of a spritz, but one side is toast. The other side, there is some detail on it. Not quite sure what it is. It's a bus looking to the left. But even with me eyes on. It looks like Georgius. I'm afraid I can't see. Not with me eyes. I'm going to have to... Look at it when I get home, but there you go. It's an old one. It's semi-toasted, but I'm sure we'll get some ID off it somewhere. Right, I'm just going to follow this. Well, I don't know what I've done. So I just like scratched it over, really. It's about two inches down. It's a it's about 50, 52. There's a lot of iron signals around, so I'm just hoping it's something half decent but as I've been told you like to see it coming out so come what may and whatever it was just fell off so it was in this bit here oh, I don't know folks I can see it I think Uh, <laughs> it's trash of some sort. Thought it was a like a Blakey stud thing, but it's just just a a random nothingness. Well, I've got to face away from wind because uh, it's so blowy. I dare say you get a lot of distortion on the microphone. Anywho, 78, 80, just there. Gonna dig it for a laugh. Still fairly hard. It's in them two clods, or one of the two clods. Not in that one. So, what are you thinking, folks? I've been digging up shotgun cartridge ends, which is a a signal you got to dig. Oh, that's a baton. Look, there you go. A teeny button. Look like some sort of raised decoration. And the eye at the back. So there you go. One a baton. Just flicked out. Sort of 60, 68. I just turn my back to the wind. Alright, so it's in there. Oh, it's going to be sort of a top find, which is good. Not going to be much, I don't think. Could be a bit of leadage. Yep, a bit of leadage. Don't think it's a curse. I always get told off about unbending things. Oh, there you go, just a bit of lead, look. Right, back into the wind. Nice repeatable. Sort of 80-ish. Apologise for the wind if I was picking it up. There somewhere, still ringing up 82. We live in hope. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Well, I don't know. I thought, yeah, it's a coke tin pool. I don't think so. It's, uh, well, it looks rather old actually. So it's got some holes in it. I don't know whether it's 
where it's supposed to go through fabric or what. So we can find a bit of this ripe linseed. Well, I thought there'd be four holes in there, but there's not. Well, there you go, it's weird. It's really weird. Not quite sure what to make of it. It's got three holes in it, intentionally or not, I don't know, but also a teeny bit of decoration. So I don't know, you tell me. Okay, I'm gonna have to face into the wind, so I'm sorry about this. Just got a nice 70-72. I'll try and get me back to it, but I'll just flick the top bit of dirt out and I can just see whatever it might be, just there. I don't know what it is, it be a button, I suppose. Maybe not. Well, don't think it's a button, but whatever it is, it's uh, quite toasted. I uh, wouldn't even like to say if it's a coin or not. Having said that, it looks like there could be something on it, but I don't think there's a button. But then again, I don't think there's a coin. Okay, just about a few steps from the whatever it was. Uh, sort of low to mid 90s. Um, <coughs> probably a part of a tractor. But we're going to find out together. I won't dig any further because I see some shinage. And it's, yeah! Nice bit of can slaw. There you go, first can slaw of the day. Rough. <coughs> Just follow the scrape round and cut a diagonal back to the truck. And that's the footpath where I found the hammer and the 1 12th of a shilling and it goes all the way around there. So I'm just gonna try my luck, and because uh, it's so windy, just go around and just get on the field, but follow the footpath along and see how we get on. There you go. That's the sound of a 67. I think I found another bit of buckle. Sadly, just a corner, but you can see the decoration. So there you go, another part buckle. Just followed the path down here that disappears off my permission into uh, the next field. Got a a 90. I just flicked this up and it's coinage. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's old. That's going to be a thrifty bit. Excuse my nose. Yeah, looking like a thrippany bit. Excuse me, George. There's a date on these things. Oh, 1943. There you go. 1943, a thrippany bit. Rob, on the way back now to the truck. That's <coughs> Where I found the thrifty bit, so I'm just going to go that way to the trees. That's where the truck is en route, detecting as usual, and had a very wispy signal. Now it's gone up to 76. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I see that. There you go. That is it a rifle shot? Oh, I wouldn't have thought it was a pistol shot. It's a shot. Well, there you have it. An okay sort of a dig, adventure, detect. Found the usual buttons, bits of lead, can slaw, and this weird thing. I mean, 
is this Roman? I don't know. I think it's got age to it, but again, it could be a, a medieval ring pull. Okie dokie. That's what you have today. Top back, can slaw, the obligatory older shotgun cartridge, lead, eye from a tarpaulin, a small round case, a long thing with thread on the end. Middle left, just a bit of wire. And there, I got hooked. Just the right of that is a little shot. Small buckle, another ring, maybe a harness ring. And then bottom left, I think it's two parts of a buckle. My mystery item, which is it Roman? I don't know. Could just be a medieval ring pull. Nice little 1943 thripply bit. And that there button, I think it's George. Not sure, we'll have to check when we get back. So there we have it. So thanks for coming with me. If you haven't, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of up and coming new videos and the Wednesday live stream. Thanks for coming with me and we'll catch you next time. Yeah.